So hello and welcome back again to looking at the Mackie Hui protocol, especially using it with Innovation SL Mark III. Let's first look at how you can configure it. So you go to the normal settings, go to controllers. And if you go to add, you will see there is Mackie and there is now the new option to add the Hui protocol. If you do so, it will turn up here like this and for the novation you need to select the second input i think on the mac it has a more readable name but here on windows it's just number one two three and the second input and the second output is the one you need to select for the door communication and also since the normal mackie hui does not have a keyboard you should also add a just a generic midi keyboard input which you select like the first MIDI input so you can also use the keyboard and use the pitch band and the modulation wheel. So much for the setup. There are some options if you go into depending on what you use. I gave you some option for example I can also provide the Hui but with that you should definitely not use it because there are better options. The Mackie Hui itself and the Novation Mark III but there are other devices which uh, support the Mackie Hui protocol so you can say does it have a display does it have a position tempo display does it have motor faders or does it have view meters the second display of the original device i cannot support this because i have no device which supports that so i cannot test it but i put it in in case i once get my hands on an original device but nevertheless you can use a normal display to display the track names you have the position display the motor faders work also and the view meters if your device supports that. With innovation it does not support these things you only have a normal display which gives you the info about the tracks. Then you have uh, lots of assignable buttons which are also not present on the innovation but for other Hui protocols you can put all the function keys you can add lots of different features which you want to use also on the food switches and these options are also only interesting if you have touch sensitive uh, faders and you also have this specific zoom button on the cursor keys. So for the innovation only the first setting is interesting and that's it. So let's look what you can do with it. If you look at the device the first thing you need to do is press the in control button then it enters the mode where the door can be controlled and you see already here here on the display the tracks turned up only for characters so you get a little idea which tracks you are dealing with but it's not that very good to read you can select the track you can change the panorama so the knob above it changes the panorama and here with the faders you can change uh, the fader volume and with the buttons up there you can change either the mute state or the solo state state. If you move up here with the cursor key you can also get to the record arm states and also change that enablement of the record arm state. Uh, last but not least here is a transport control so you can do user stuff, uh, start playback, stop playback, go back to the beginning. Also you can keep that press to scroll into your project. You can toggle the loop and you can start recording. So these are the drivers directly visible functions there are some hidden ones if you go here to options you see we had selected panoramas but you can also select the sand effect so if we then leave that this will control the sands on the channel so you see this controls the first sand and if you go back to options you see here this is sand A and with that uh, up down you can go to E D E C B, A, so you have 
five cents you can also access via that function. And there is one last hidden function. You can use a shift key and then you get here the access to use the undo function to execute the save on your current project. And this pre post does not make that much sense with Bitwig. So I put here on that function, I put the metronome toggle on and on the second one, I put the tap tempo function. Okay, so some basic features which gives you this Mackie Hui support and yeah, it's a quite okay for controlling the basic features. And I hope I might be able to look into the Ableton protocol, which gives us hopefully longer names for the tracks and things like that. But I think Mackie Hui also gives you a good start. So, and if you configured all that and like this and have the keyboard, make some funky music.